So, congratulations, you are at the end of this video series. Video number 11, I'm going to talk about how to transfer files without having to use FileZilla. It's a very easy process, I'm going to show you how to do it. But before I do that, I want to delete these files so that I can start from scratch and show you. So if I click on delete, click yes, I've deleted it. So if I go back here, I refresh the page, I don't see anything. So we're starting from a clean slate. What I want to do now is go to a new browser or new tab. And then I wanted to go to whatever your domain is. Mine was 30minutescrapbooks.com. You want to put a slash and you want to put cPanel. Now this can vary if you are not using a cPanel. But I would say the majority of you, if you're using HostGator, in, in fact, if you are using HostGator, then you will have a cPanel. If you are using a different hosting company, you might see something different. But I would say the 44 web hosting companies that I've been through, 99% um, of them use cPanel. So go here, click on proceed anyway if you see that sign, and then you want to enter your username and password. The username and password for the cPanel is going to be the same, just the same as the FTP. So in this case, And then after that, I want to log in. I'm going to click X on here, say password. And you'll notice here that it says File Manager. So you can scroll down. The cPanel basically allows you to control your emails, control your folders, back up your files, uh, install WordPress, install programs and things like that, access your MySQL databases, add subdomains and so forth. Now obviously the whole point of this is to show you the file manager. So if you click on file manager and then click on OK, go. Right now I'm going to go to the public underscore HTML folder because that's where I want to be. And I'm going to maximize this so that you can see it better. All right, so you just see the CGI bin, right? So I see the CGI bin. I'm going to close this out. And we're just going to work through the browser. Okay, so let's say I want to, you can create a new file. You can create a new folder. Let's say I create a new folder called FTP Warmup. Click Create New Folder. So if I go to the live site, I'm going to see that folder is created. And let's say that I want to upload files. As you can see with this cPanel, you can copy, move, upload, you can download, you can delete, you can rename, you can edit, you can edit the files, you can even create a zip file or unzip it. And I'll show you how to do unzipping later. But for now, let's upload files. If you click upload, and you choose a file obviously in this case you're going to need to find the location at which the files are located and at this point you just need to scroll and find it now when you upload files with this FTP through the browser it's not as fast as the FTP, the FileZilla FTP. And what I mean by that is you can't upload files, you know, one by one by one in a multiple basis. You have to upload every single file at one time. And that can be annoying and tedious. But if you want to know the fast way of doing it, if you click on back, and let's say that I want to upload these files here. If I want to upload these files here, let's see, then I need to highlight these, right click, send to zip file. So basically I'm zipping these files here. And I'll show you why you want to do this if you're taking this route. You would do upload, 
choose file, and then choose the zip file that contains all of those files. Next thing we want to do is wait for it to upload. And if I push it up here, you'll notice that it tells you, it actually tells you how much it's actually uploading. Okay, so we can see that it is complete. I can go back. I'm going to click on the zip folder. I'm going to extract the zip file to this folder. Click close, and as you can see, it's uploaded the index.html and the images folder. And then if I go here, we can see the live site. Now, obviously, the way it works is if I want to delete this file, I click delete or click delete on your keypad. I can highlight these files if I click this and hold down control, click it. You can also move it if you want. So if I move this over here to FTP warm up, I can see that here. If I want to, let's say I want to do a backup and I want to zip this file, I can compress, make sure it's named the way I want it to name, click compress. And as you can see, I have the file here. So that's just another, another route that you can take if you want to just use a browser and you don't have access to FileZilla. But as you can see, it is a little more tedious, a little more time consuming. So to say that FTP with FileZilla or any type of other FTP program is a lot faster than using cPanel. But I just wanted to show you that trick just so you know, let's say you're traveling and you don't necessarily have your laptop, but you do have your files with you. So you can use this as a option if you would like.